Yo, what's going on gamers? We are here with the Boston, I said that really weird, Boston Celtics rebuilding. And guys, sorry I haven't been able to upload, just just little personal stuff I wouldn't really, you know, want to go into depth about it, but I'm here, so just holla back about me returning. So let's get into it, we're going to use the, we're going to use mine, draft class of course, because I think mine's like the best. And, okay, whoa, dude, dude, I just burned a candle last night and, like, bubbles, like, appear in the wax now. It's crazy. Uh, we're going to do hella trades. I'm just going to say, look at this first trade. Age, Avery Bradley and Kelly Olenek for Mario Henzonja and James Smith. Jason, not James, Jason Smith. Uh, if you guys do not know what the rebuilding series is, the rebuilding series is of me pretty much just taking a team in one episode, however many seasons it takes, I rebuild that team. Okay, so we're gonna try to bring in Cody Zeller and put the Zeller, not, they're not twins, the Zeller brothers, brothers on the same team. So Cody Zeller, who was actually drafted earlier, has a better potential than Tyler, even though Tyler is a better player at the current moment, which I'm fine with. So we're gonna try, we're gonna send over, who are we gonna send? I just, I wanna keep Cody. I'm gonna send over Jonas Jarepko. And we get their 2018 pick, which is actually better. So this actually is a perfect deal for us. They get a small forward. We get rid of a small forward, bringing a power forward, which we need. And we're going to make this team younger. I think this is an easy rebuild. I, I don't like Jay Crowder just because of his deal. And plus, I just don't like Jay Crowder in general. And he's a shooting guard right now. He's a, usually a small forward, but he's undersized. I like my small forwards being at least 6'7". And we're going to send him over for J.J. Hickson. We're going to move J.J. Hickson probably down to the center position. Look at the team, Rudy, Rudy Gobert. We got Derek Favors. Look at that. Should we bring in Derek Favors? Of course. Derek Favors is a little easy trade for us to get in, get on this team. Derek Favors is a good player. Check it out. James Young, Terry Rozier, Isaiah Thomas, Marcus Smart, RJ Hunter. We're going to get rid of Jordan Mickey and David Lee for ooh, Al Jefferson would be interesting enough. Not Jerry Jack. And Thaddeus Young has the biggest contract. Reggie Jackson and Andre Drummond. We're going to build this team around Andre Drummond. I'm just telling you right now. I did this last time, but Andre Drummond's a beast, guys. Andre Drummond's honestly a beast, and he's the perfect guy to build this team around. Uh, we're going to go over here. Get rid of Reggie Jackson, of course. Reggie Jackson's overpaid $13 million a year. Kemba Walker. We have to give up our 2018 pick. I'm fine with that of the Memphis Grizzlies. I think that's a great deal, a great deal to bring in Kemba Walker, a guy who's on a deal making 12 millions, a better overall than Je Reg Re uh, I just butchered that name completely, Reggie Jackson, and he makes less money. So I'm fine with that. All right, we're going to check it out. We're going to get rid of RJ Hunter and Jason Smith, move Smith down to the power four position to make his overall better. Tavius Codwell Pope would be an interesting addition. But we're not going to go with that. I like this Mike Smith, Tim Hardaway Jr. Two pretty good players on two simply cheap deals, which I like. So look at the squad at the current moment. Look at that. Kemba Walker and Isaiah Thomas, a good duo. Uh, Andre Drummond, we're going to extend his deal for three years right now. And he, of course, accepts it. And Tyler Zeller will resign. Not resign. Res resign. Resign and resign. Spelt the exact same way. Two different meanings. It's crazy. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's look at his deal now. Pretty cheap deal for a pretty good player. And Tyler Booker's not going to say neither is J.J. Hickson because we can't resign him. And I really don't want him to say Jimmer Fredette, one of my favorite players on this team, is just blowing up somehow, I think. I brought Jimmer in free agency, and he's like one of the best players. We have Ray Allen because I thought, come on, we have to bring Ray, Ray Allen back to this team. And I'm not going to relocate. Let's see if there's any trades we would like to get rid of. Yeah, let's get rid of Trevor Booker and JJ Hickson, two guys on year deals that are probably going to leave us in the offseason. So, what's the point of keeping them? Lance Stevenson would be in Nick Joseph Nurik. I, I just put like his last name and his first name together and just butchered it. I think that's a great deal because he can play uh, power for it actually because he's actually got a good uh, mid range game. So, so, that's good. But he's a little slow. So, we could work on his physical ability in the offseason. We're going to get rid of Wilson Chandler, of course. Vince Carter would be nice. I would love Vince Carter on this team. Oh, Daniello Gallinari would be interesting. But this Cliff Alexander, we take nothing. We get rid of his deal completely. And we just pick up $525,000 and a first round pick, which I have no problem whatsoever getting that. At the end of the season, Kemba Walker wins six man of the year. Nice job. Marcus Smart wins most improved player. Nice job. 
and we make the playoffs going, what, 50 and 32. Nice job. Boston Celtics played amazingly, or pretty darn good. Brandon Jennings, mate, this blew my mind. 20 points a game. I don't know how that happens. Brandon Jennings does that. That's pretty remarkable. Any of our guys make it? Yes, Mario. I don't know how to pronounce it. Hesnosia. I, I, I'm going to give up before I continue to butcher it. We are the fifth seed. That's not that bad. We're going against the fourth seed, Miami Heat. Okay, let's see who's in the starting lineup. Jimmer Fredette's on fire. So is Isaiah Thomas. So is Tyler Zeller. On the bench is Rudy Gobert. I think we got to put up Rudy. Okay, let's uh, update that. Derek Favors, Andre Drummond. And I think we're going to get rid of Favors in the draft or something because I feel like Favors... I just don't want that, and I feel like if we have Drummond and Rudy Gobert, I put Drummond at the power forward position and Gobert at the center position, boo yeah, that's perfect, because Gobert's pretty darn good. Let's see if we can beat the Cleveland Cavaliers, we probably won't. We beat the Miami Heat, which is easy, I have no problem whatsoever, and let's see what, oh, 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 we're going to go against the Chicago Bulls. Can we win this all in one season? Am I that good? Nah. We lose against the Chicago Bulls, I ain't mad. We did a, had a nice run, so that means we have a good team right now, and there's not much to rebuild. We have a great 99.5%. Okay, we're at the draft right now. I moved up a lot. Trade some players. Gary Payton. I think we can bring this guy in. We have the 6th and 7th pick now. Originally, we had the 14th and like a couple late rounds. I was like, can't get anyone good. So we're going to bring in Gary Payton in the 2nd. He has really good potential. He's said to be an all-star or something like that with the 7th pick in the draft. Who we're going to select? Of course, we're going to bring in this power forward. I really like Scal bias or something like that real long name i don't know the other guy i was thinking was henry ellison but the problem with him is he has a b minus and scal has like an a a plus i think a actually these two both had a so they might not be the best overalls right now but they have the best potential so that's what i like he's a little undersized but he's kind of the same weight as anthony davis may work on his mid-range we only bring in one guy from free agency, and that's going to be Joe Johnson. I feel like Joe Johnson is the guy we need. So we bring in Joe Johnson, who I think is a great pickup. But we need to bring in a... I think we need to bring in a shooting guard. So my guy, I'm thinking of Evan Gordon, Nicola, Nicholas Batum. I think Batum would be a nice pickup. He's 6'7", and he's a good shooter. But check out the roster currently. Tim Hardaway Jr., Marcus Smart, Mike Scott right there. We might release Mike Scott, I don't know. Tim Hardaway Jr., not the best overall, but we just brought in a uh, small forward in Joe Johnson, bringing back to the team that drafted him. So what's the point of keeping Mike Scott because they're pretty much the same exact player? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make work on the physicals, like make him faster in the offseason for... Joe Johnson, so he can play well. We're going to try to bring in Batum, put the deal down, give him a player option, and decline that dang. Let's see how much more money we can give him. Nothing, dude. He's going to decline that. We ha have no way of bringing him in. That kind of sucks. Lua Dang, uh, Jonas Jarepko. I don't want to do that. Jarepko, what was his season? Oh, yeah, terrible season. Not terrible, but, you know, nothing special that would make me want to get him. Wesley Johnson would be in charge. Dion Waiters. I like Dion Waiters. He has actually good potential. I remember looking at it earlier in the game, like just doing one mine. He has like a B plus, I think A minus or something. That's actually pretty nice for a guy. Just because I think it's because he was drafted early. So I think we're going to try bringing Dion Waiters for your deal. Maybe put that down. Yeah, that's going to be 16. Just do a flat. So that's 16 mil. Pretty simple deal. He doesn't look like he's going to sign it. Oh, yes, he does. Four years, 16 mil, perfectly good for us. We're going to trade away Joe Johnson for Drew Holiday. I think we need a good shooting guard, and I think Drew Holiday is perfect guy. We get rid of Joe Johnson, bring in a first-round pick. So now you're like, wow, you have three good point guards, but why would you do that? Yes, because Jimmer got hurt, was playing great, and so does Marcus Smart. They're two of our best shooting guards, and they both got hurt. So I needed to bring in a guy who I knew I can bring in good and i think the only guy i saw that i really really liked was my boy not my boy but you know um drew holiday was the perfect guy for us honestly he was probably i'm gonna see if we can bring back joe johnson because i actually really like joe johnson and i would have to give up isaiah thomas which of course would not happen and mario so we're not gonna do that uh and right now we're in game six of the finals yes game six of the finals 111 to 114 
Tyreek Evans has the ball. Look at this. We, of course, goes against the New Orleans Pelicans. I sim the uh, playoffs not showing it because in the playoffs, guys, honestly, we just destroyed. We literally what we swept a bunch of teams. So it was pretty boring to show you that. And we're right now in the playoffs. Cody Zeller has it right now going against Anthony Davis. He passes it to number seven. Who is number seven? Oh, yeah. I still have no idea who's number seven. Who is number seven, guys? It is... I'm trying to think who seven is. It's not Scal. It could be actually. No, Scal's 11, I think. No, it might be Scal. Who is seven? I'm so confused. Who is number seven? Kemba Walker has the ball now. To your right is Andre Drummond, as you can see, number zero. I don't know. Kemba Walker taking it to the rack. And Joel Embiid, that's who I brought in. I traded away one of my guy, Rudy Gobert, for Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid has been phenomenal great rebounder for us with Joel being seven foot he took the center position and our power forward became Andre Drummond and Tyreek just steals the ball and this game looks all over guys we aren't going to win it looks like uh, right now Kemba Walker has the ball Kemba goes up can he oh wide open for the three and he hits it to make us two points down 10 seconds left we're gonna have to foul we're gonna have to foul we're going to have to foul. I just put in my best three shooters. So when we foul, there we go. They go in. The best three shooters I have. Joel Embiid's on this team. As you can see, number 34 is the seventh pick of the draft. Jimmer for dead. I put in the game. I put in Mario. Joel stayed in the game because he's one of our best rebounders. And so did Andre Drummond. Okay. Jimmer. Got to give it to Jimmer. 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 Pull up for three. He nails it. We're down by one. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh. Oh. They missed the pass. They missed the pass. Can this bring us in? You just saw him. Uh, you know who this is going to. Where's Jimmer? White boy. You see Mario in there, but Jimmer's better. Jimmer, give it to Jimmer. Give it to Jimmer. Jimmer, 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 Jimmer. Look for a room. Oh, a little bit open. A little bit of room. A little bit of room. Pull up. Pull up. Buzzer beater. Right there. Jimmer Ferdet. Look at that. Jimmer Ferdet pulling a BYU. Jimmer. Jimmer bringing us up 3-3 three, three in this look at this 64 and 18 we went i'll show you guys the roster we had at the end of the season dang guys i might have to hop in this one we're losing we're losing badly man we're losing oh we take back the game and we're in control we're in control we win it the boston celtics are your nba final champions it only took two years so how good they were already were and how i made them even better they should do this in real life hire me as gm yo danny Aim. I'm better than you. Watch out, fool. Come on. I I'm taking all. Just, you know, DM me on, like, my YouTube. So, I want to show you guys the roster we had before I simulate the rest of the season. Yeah, I'm going to simulate the rest of the season. Andre Drummond won MVP, 17 points, uh, 11 rebounds. Dang. 1.3 steals and 2.4 blocks. He's an elite paint protector. Andre Drummond, what a beast. Tim Duncan and Paul Pierce retire. Metal World Peace, retire Mike Delaney, nothing interesting, no, you know, just a bunch of players just retired, nothing special, nothing, you know, those two make the Hall of Fame, obviously, and, okay, we have 18 rings now, so, what's the worry, I want to show you the team we had, so let's go, Andre Drummond at center, Isaiah Thomas, Kemba Walker, Joel Embiid, Drew Hall Day, Mario Hanzonga, the Zeller twins, Tyler and Cody Zeller. I moved Cody and I like did that weight thing in the offseason, so he went up on some weight 255 now. Scal Lebris or whatever. Joseph Nurik, Jimmer Fredette, Bro Boris Diao, Marcus Smart, Gary Payton, and Doug McDermott. That's about it for this episode, guys. Tell me down below. The Pistons are next. And what you guys thought. So that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, guys, I hope you guys have a great day because I know I will. Till next time, guys. Peace out. Holla back.